It seems like it was only a couple years ago that Minecraft SMPs were a term that most people never heard of. Actually, that's because it was only a couple years ago. Anyways, I've always wondered why that was, and what in particular made the genre so popular. Was it PewDiePie? Was it Dream? Well, stick around, and I may have an answer that might be surprising to say the least. We'll start back in 2018, when Minecraft was still in its dark age. Popularity in the game was at its lowest since 2011, and the old cast of Minecraft YouTubers either stopped doing YouTube or switched to new and more popular games. A whole genre of Minecraft content pretty much went extinct, with that being the minigame meta that most Minecraft-oriented content creators participated in at the time. As you can see, there was a void that opened up, just waiting for some form of Minecraft to take its place. But even in a depression of sorts, there were still millions of people that played Minecraft, and it was only a matter of time before popular content creators would come back to Minecraft with new and original ideas. Okay, I probably should have stated what SMPs actually meant at the start of the video, but in short, survival multiplayers, aka SMPs, are Minecraft survival worlds that other people can join on and play through a server. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, SMPs have been around forever, and whether you thought that or not, you'd be right. But modern SMPs are different from the SMPs from the past, as today's SMPs are filled with story, lore, and chaos. At least the big ones anyway. And the first SMP to kick off this formula was SMP Live. Following the sudden resurgence of Minecraft, a group of Twitch streamers started a new SMP, but unlike other SMPs, they introduced many elements to create a unique environment. Stuff like interesting story arcs, counterfeit currency, and most importantly of all, people that stream could be invited to play on the server, which was huge because it meant that people with huge followings would be actively introducing their viewer bases to the SMP genre as a whole. After SMP Live, other huge SMPs sprouted out like SMP Earth, Empire's SMP, and especially Dream SMP, which was arguably when the genre was at its peak. So great, guess the video's over and I can... Oh yeah, I should probably address that. Hermitcraft has dominated the SMP space for over a decade now, and is easily the most popular SMP of all time. Most people usually forget to include it when talking about SMPs just because of how the culture is a lot different from let's just say Dream SMP. But it checks all the boxes of a supposed modern SMP, with every member making content about it, there being a story to the server, and lots of conflict happening in the server as well. Mostly because of Green. <clears throat> And remember, this SMP has been around since 2012, so I think people tend to view SMPs as this recent phenomenon. But not only untrue by definition, it's also untrue culturally, as Hermitcraft was doing the same things as SMP Live 7 years before it was ever created. So instead of talking about the rise of SMPs, we should really be talking about the rise of modern Minecraft content creators. As the rise of SMPs was a slow process, that started back in 2012, and not as the genre that single-handedly brought Minecraft out of the Dark Ages in 2019. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Did I miss any important information? If it's anything at all, make sure to put it in the comment section, and I'll try my best to respond to them. Alright, see ya!